I'm not even gonna bother introducing this game at this point. I'll just continue from points I made in the last video. Remember when I said about how 99% of the Fnatic games like Game Shot never get finished? The issue is that uh, just because a game is finished doesn't mean it's necessarily good or high quality. Only 1% of this 1% is made by talented solo creators or even sometimes dev teams. However, I'm happy to say I think I found this rare 1 in 1000 chance of a good Fnatic game on Game Jolt. May I introduce to you the 2, or the TT2N, whichever you prefer. Now, I should say I'm saying this game is good based on the standard as was said by other good Fnatic games, mainly the ones by Radiance and Marath CLO series. I like the vibe of this title screen. I'm not sure why, but seeing a parody of an old Mickey Mouse episode is cool to me, instead of just text and buttons with little background detail like usual. The graphics of this game give me heavy TLO and Fnatic 4.0 vibes. Even as Mikmik, who was planned to be the main character of Fnatic 4.0 before it was canned due to backlash. Now how the mechanics work is pretty interesting. Not so much the mechanics themselves, but rather how they are rolled out throughout the nights. You are limited to specific abilities per night. For instance, on night 1 you have access to shut off the lights, However, on night 3, you no longer have access to this mechanic, and it's replaced with fighting in a desk. Now, I do like the idea of this, even though critically thinking of it, it does not make much sense. Why are the, the mechanics somebody like this? Now, I know what you're gonna say. Send the phone calls and find out that way. The issue is, and this is a very common issue with most FNAF fan games I've played, the phone calls are just too damn quiet. This is something more fan games need to fix. One quick fix is just to have two volume sliders in the options menu. One for game audio and one for phone call audio. Also, make it so you can boost the audio past 100%. I know that might sound weird and impossible, but I have seen it done before mainly by other audio applications, and usually most recording software has the same feature. So I don't believe it's too far fetched to believe that most games can do it as well. I am rambling a bit here, so let's get back on topic. While the phone call audio issue remains present, one positive of it is that from what I've played, it doesn't seem like the suits start moving until the phone call finishes, or at least reaches the office. Now, I'm not going to go too deep on the mechanics or the suit themselves. The mechanics are basically the same mechanics you've seen in every other Fnatic game, and the suits are, like I said earlier, based on Fnatic 4.0. Now, an issue with most of this game is that it's mainly just sur in survive. Not too much innovation happens with the knights. Apart from that mechanic restriction thing I mentioned earlier, there are no easter eggs or anything like that, and nothing is interesting on night. I stand corrected. After beating night 4, the entire game glitches out, and we get access to night 5, which is different from the other nights. Now we have one new mechanic here, the keypad mechanic. Also notice to make a sound and appear on your monitor. You will need to put in the key code, with the number usually being off to the right. Failing to do so results in an Oswald wandering into your office and killing you. And there is another grayscale mini costume that wanders out by just flashing the light. And there is... this... thing. Just a way by shutting off the camera. Beating this night results in an end cutscene, where we are told that we won the game and that we get to be free. The credits roll, indicating that's the end of the game. I... think? Well... Before I end this video, I feel like mentioning the, the game's biggest issue, it's the bugs. Which I have a feeling may kill the game for some people, both jokingly and seriously. 